much liquid gold do you reckon's being chewed up riding on these little beasts? Well, if petrol prices are biting into your household budget, even if you've already switched to two wheels, listen closely to the answer. Zero, zilch, nil. Meet the Envy, the world's first hydrogen-powered electric motorbike. You've already seen a hydrogen-fueled combustion engine in the 12-cylinder BMW Hydro, and Hayden showed you the battery-powered gin bike. Normally on a motorcycle, you give it a bit of a blat, and it'd uh, make a noise. Well, this one... The difference with this bike is that it's the first time one has been built from the ground up using hydrogen as the only fuel source. The bike is the brainchild of Andy Eggleston. So Andy, take me through it. Okay, well it's the easiest bike uh, to ride. What we're gonna do is start it up. It's an electrically powered bike, so there's no engine braking. Mm -hmm. You twist the throttle to go. When you wanna slow down or stop, make sure you use the brakes. I'll definitely use the brakes. Let's get it off the stand. I'll put my helmet on and we'll fire it up. Let's go. She's running. That's it. All right. Just twist the throttle and go. OK, I'll take it easy at first. Let's give it a crack. The bike is surprisingly nippy. And if you're wondering, Envy stands for Emission Neutral Vehicle. It's slick, sexy, and a lot of fun. The key to the Envy is the fully integrated fuel cell generator, providing power on demand. The cell converts the electrochemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen into electricity, and the only byproduct is water. The Envy generates about 8 horsepower, or 6 kilowatts. It'll easily reach a city respectable speed of 80 kilometres an hour, around 50 miles an hour. This bike's really easy to ride. It doesn't quite have the performance of a superbike, but one thing it does have is great acceleration. On a full tank of hydrogen fuel, for a cost of about $3, it can be ridden continually for up to four hours, with a range of 100 miles or 160 kilometres. So this is the fuel cell. It weighs about 20 kilos and it's extremely easy to put in. You just slide it in like that. It clips into the socket, just like that. Pull this clip down, push the fuel cell in. Seat comes down, easy as that. Fairing back down. There you go. One drawback is finding somewhere to refuel. But with a worldwide push to reduce harmful emissions, hydrogen refueling stations are increasing. California is leading the charge, with about 30 already built or under construction. Apart from the fuel, the rest of the bike is impressive too. The light frame is made from hollow cast aircraft grade aluminium. And there's good ground clearance and suspension, making it perfect off-road. This is almost your dream, your baby, isn't it? Yeah, well, uh, there's no way I could take all the credit for that by any means. There's a, a whole development team behind this, which has been working on the fuel cell technology for 15 years. And the passion is shared by the whole team. We believe that this technology really has um, the ability, the capacity, the possibility to really change the world. Uh, and for the better, mm. uh, as well as it being beautiful and functional. At the moment, the bike is just a pre-production prototype, but the Envy is likely to become available within the next two years, costing about $6,000. It's hard to imagine future vehicles without thinking about fuel consumption. With the availability of alternate fuel sources, vehicles like this are almost a reality. With the proper infrastructure, this bike may become commonplace beyond tomorrow.